Welcome to the next episode. And today we're gonna to be working on this beautiful story that I found called The Elephant Rope and in brackets, belief. At the same time, we're gonna be making a delicious kale chicken salad. So I hope you enjoy. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So the story is called Elephant Rope Belief. So let's go. Gentleman was walking through an elephant camp and spotted the elephants weren't being kept in cages or being held using chains. All that was holding them back from escaping the camp was a small piece of rope tied to one of their legs. As the man gazed upon the elephants, he was completely confused as to why the elephants didn't just use their strength to break the rope and escape the camp. They could have easily have done so, but instead, they didn't try to at all. Curious and wanting to know the answer, he asked the trainer nearby why the elephants were just standing there and never tried to escape. The trainer replied, when they were very young and much smaller, we used the same size rope to tie them. And at that age, it's enough to hold them. As they grew up, they are conditioned to believe they cannot break away. They believe the rope can still hold them, so they never try to break free. The only reason that the elephants were breaking free and escaping from the camp was over time, they adopted the belief that it was just impossible. So. Moral of the story, I think, in, in this one, no matter how much the world tries to hold you back, this is the moral that this, this story kind of, I think, summarizes from a bunch of things that I read. No matter how much the world tries to hold you back, always continue with the belief that you, that what you want to achieve is possible. Believing you can become successful is the most important step in actually achieving it. Breaking that down even further, especially being in, in, in an industry like, like I am in, engaging in, and I think creatively that's, probably the, the biggest thing is always trying to push the boundaries of what you think personally is possible for for your art for your creativity for uh, connections for building skills and a lot of time and especially in the creative field it's really difficult to consistently keep motivated because it's like walking through a dark forest for hours or days weeks years more often than not and it's really hard to keep yourself motivated and one thing I, I put up to challenge that is there are always small things that you can do in order to help in this way find your way out of the forest and and slowly start building something that can that can work I, I've seen a bunch of different uh, interviews and stuff like that and all these artists one thing that they have a, a lot in common is that undying belief that there is always something that they can do that there is always somewhere they can go that there's always a skill that they can be working on and there's always a connection to be made. I put this out to, to you guys and I really, really encourage everybody who's been struggling with creative endeavors or who's wanted to pursue something creatively to, instead of looking at all the negative things around you and instead of tying yourself to this proverbial post and not letting yourself free, I would say what, what I do every single morning is I write down the things that I think are impossible and well, within, within music obviously and try to find ways that I can accomplish it. So I have my goals for music, and to the outside eye, some things might seem impossible, but uh, if you break it down into small little steps, uh, actionable steps, you'd be surprised at what you're actually capable of. And I, I, I do believe in that. It's just gonna take uh, <laughs> patience and time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, this video. I actually, I really like this, Instead of telling you guys a story, a really rambly story from, from my past, which my memory sometimes fails me, uh, I want to start doing the small uh, inspirational stories and then just cooking over top of it. So if you guys enjoyed the story and I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome salad. Kale has become one of my favorites. Put a little Parmesan and maybe a little bit of garlic in this one as well. That would be absolutely uh, perfect and it would be a delicious and pretty easy meal to uh, to prep for a couple of days. I'm going to have right after I'm done this, I have this first salad. So. You guys enjoyed this consider subscribing and liking the video and i will catch you in the next one peace